Hey, good morning to you. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Uh, Y'all have some severe weather today, so I'm going to do a second update this afternoon or probably right before noon on the tropical update, like I promise I will do. I just want to get this video out to y'all real quick so y'all can know what's going on. And I did notice y'all did have a lot of severe weather the last couple of days. And I am sorry I wasn't here for you as you know what happened. Thank you for all your thoughts and all your prayers, guys. God bless you all. Now, yesterday I noticed y'all had about two or three tornadoes, and the day before you had about 28. So it's been some crazy weather for y'all, but it is starting to calm down. You just have a couple more days of just some severe weather that is coming. It's not extreme severe like it's been. But remember, the links are in the description. That way you can go to everything you need to see. I'll show you real quick for your precipitation, what to expect, and as well as the wind gusts. Also, I will be updating my videos soon. Some people have been asking for closed captioning, and I am get, looking into that software. I will get it done for you. Especially going into hurricane season, I want to make sure you know exactly what's going on by hearing or reading what's going on. Now, these storms are going to brew up in the central U.S. and the Midwest and will go, go to the Northeast and the Midwest. And I know that the West Coast has been asking for some information. I know you're going through a drought. I know you're going through a lot of heat. And I do apologize. These videos, you see as, as long as they get, they get too long sometimes. But most of the weather has been over here. Uh, as well as hurricane season is going to be ramping up over here. As a matter of fact, I am seeing that anomaly in the Gulf still. So like I said, I will do a tropical update after this video. But I don't want to leave y'all hanging. And look, if you never heard of him before, David Schlotthauer. He lives in California. He covers a lot of West Coast weather. So I, don't, I really want y'all to get what y'all need. And that's where he's from. So his uploads, time-wise, will be in your time span as well. So you know what's going on. He does cover other weather as well. And he is great at what he does. But he is going through a hard time. So if you can please go show him some love, I'd appreciate you for it. Remember, don't tell him I sent you. All glory goes to God, guys. God bless you for helping. So let me get into what I have for you guys. If you've never been here before, good morning to you. My name is Mark. Uh, I usually upload every single day, just not when I go through my Sabbaths from Friday from sundown to Saturday from sundown. Matter of fact, I've been doing some reading, and I believe it's from sunrise to sunrise. I will double check that because I want to be correct. We all have to correct ourselves as much as we can in life. But the two videos I have for you today on the very top is a NAM 3K. Right above my head is a Euro. They are showing two different amounts, especially for the third day of severe weather because it is showing by Texas, or Oklahoma. It's in, different, it's in different areas, especially it's involved in New Mexico as well. So I will go through what I have for you so you will know kind of what to expect. Now for today, the risk from, for severe weather, you have all the marginal and this dark green areas and the slight that's in these yellows, as well as some rainfall for Florida and this other green area you've seen here. Uh, tornado risk, you have a 2% down here in southwest Texas and a 5% that's also in that area you need to watch out for. And you have a 2% for tornadoes for Virginia and parts of West Virginia. As well as some winds, you will have a little chance of winds for Wyoming and Montana, as well as for Texas, New Mexico, and it will drag over to the, to the Mid-Atlantic. Now, this is because we have our cold air still coming down, and the good thing is the cold air coming behind these storms will stop it from being uh, tornadoes, just like y'all had a couple of days ago. It won't be as a tornadic activity because of that cold air coming in. It'll be mostly straight-line winds when something like that happens, big thunderstorms, big lightning storms. And you do have the hail threat as well. You have in the same areas up here in the Midwest and the Mid-Atlantic and for Texas with a significant area in Texas for some hail. And here's the cities down here so you can see where the significant for the hail is as well as for the tornadoes so you know which county uh, is having these areas. Now as we go through our day today, you have a surface low pressure that's moving through Ohio Valley. You're going to have some storms underneath, but most of the rain and the damage and winds will be on top, especially for the Ohio Valley, especially for Michigan. And you do have some winds brewing down in southeast Texas that will go over towards Louisiana. But this is 8 o'clock this morning central time. You do see that you do have some storms north of the surface low pressure as it moves through today into this afternoon. It will switch down a little bit towards the mid-Atlantic because it does become a little surface low pressure out in the Atlantic. So it will bring some storms later on to Kentucky and maybe West Virginia. Then as you go through your evening, it's going to move towards the northeast. Then you're going to get some more uh, thunderstorms for West Virginia at that point and some more popping up for northern Illinois. And you will have some winds, especially the wind gusts. It will be in the 40s, especially all day long, maybe even possible for 50s while you go through Michigan. Upper Ohio Valley would be in the 30s, maybe high 30s if you get lucky. Uh, but as it goes through, you can see all the damage and winds, all the possible damage and winds. But the wind gusts will be upper Ohio Valley, Michigan, 
a little bit of northern Illinois as it goes to the northeast. Then as you go through later this evening into tonight, it'll still be there in the 30s and the 40s until the early morning for tomorrow. And tomorrow it will start pushing out and it'll be gone for your winds. It'll start being in the northeast. So here's another look so you can see exactly for the mid Atlantic and the northeast as well. As you go through your morning, these storms are going to move across the Ohio Valley and it will go into Pennsylvania and New York. Long Island, Northern Jersey, and Connecticut. Y'all will all see these storms by later this afternoon. It will be sporadic along the Mid-Atlantic for certain people. It won't be a big uh, thunderstorm passing through, but it will be lines of thunderstorms, and it will pass some heavy rainfall for y'all. Then as you go late night to the early morning hours, you're going to get some storms that's going to pass over the Northeast, especially Long Island, New Jersey, uh, Connecticut, Massachusetts. I will show you at the end of the video. Then as you go through the morning for tomorrow, then it'll go all the way towards the New England states and it'll kind of hang out with some rainfall as y'all get some more rounds of storms throughout the day, throughout the afternoon, especially for uh, Virginia, North Carolina, Delaware, Maryland, Southern Jersey, even Long Island has a chance for some storms, especially late night for tomorrow into the overnight hours. You'll get storms again. Uh, it will be overnight. As well as Northern North Carolina, we will get some for tomorrow night in the early morning hours, right before sunrise. Then you'll have some more storms building up in the Northeast and the New England states by tomorrow afternoon. And for tomorrow, your severe weather marginal is in this dark green. And like I said, it's not as bad as y'all been having it. You do have a slight risk right here in this yellow. And you do have a chance for 2% of tornadoes so far for Northeast uh, New Mexico and you will get some winds it will be another upper level low turn to a surface low pressure we'll get some more winds some more vorticity you do have a chance for hail as well now early morning hours tomorrow you will start to get these wind gusts coming to the northeast especially for New Jersey eastern Pennsylvania Long Island and Rhode Island and a little bit of Connecticut it will go until tomorrow morning till it finally comes in because it's a late night storm it will be an overnight storm for y'all it will move through by noon time but the winds will stick around all all afternoon for y'all at least in the 30s there will be pockets for 40s maybe even a, a 50 might get up there sometime around throughout the day but it won't be consistent and it won't be the whole time but it will go all afternoon long with them storms and it will start to get worse towards vermont and for your day three it's going to rinse and repeat and start all over again you actually have an upper level low that's moving over here from new mexico to texas it might become a surface low pressure, but still it's bringing that vorticity with it. And you do have a chance for severe weather in that area with a chance for significant right here by New Mexico. And that's literally about 60 hours away. So I had to use the Euro to show you the winds because the NAM 3K don't go that far. But you see that throughout the day, it does get some wind gusts of 30 and 40, maybe even a high 50 or two throughout the day. There will be a chance for that. But this is the general area that's going to be seeing that. Now, as this upper level low moves over, you will get some vorticity, some wind gusts. And this is up to 50. This is in central Texas. But as it moves over, and it will die out. And then again, it starts once again down here in Mexico. But here's the severe weather part of it, the storms. This is your upper level low that will start to move by throughout that day. It will cause some winds, some storms, but it's not going to be super severe. But it will be some rain that will come with it. And here's your total rainfall expected within the first three days. This is from NAM 3K. It is kind of sporadic for the south and the mid-Atlantic. So we'll go through real quick what y'all areas are. So please pause it to see exactly where your town may be to see what your time is. This is a lot to go through. We do have a chance for heavy rainfall in Kansas. It's up to five inches, four or five inches in this general area. Southeast Colorado as well has a chance for up to four inches. Oklahoma is up to five or six inches. And the panhandle of Texas has a chance for heavier rainfall. Everybody else is just sporadic up to maybe an inch within the next three days. And it is literally sporadic. You have up to an inch, possible two inches uh, for southern Arkansas, central Mississippi, uh, mostly central to southern Alabama, up to two or three inches, northern Georgia, sporadic across South Carolina, upper Illinois have a chance for two to three inches, southeast Michigan looks like it would be the most, a little bit over an inch. In the Ohio Valley, it's going to be all upper with the heaviness. Tennessee, Kentucky is mostly sporadic, but it looks like it's from central to east. Uh, for Kentucky, is mostly northeast. South and east of West Virginia as well. Northern for North Carolina, but it looks like Virginia gets pretty heavy on your rainfall, up to five or six inches in a lot of good places. So you need to watch out. As well as northern Delaware, northern Maryland. New Jersey from central to south is the heaviest, but you do have it in the north as well. And southeast 
uh, Pennsylvania. Long Island, you're looking at some heavy rainfall. Connecticut. So the heaviness is pretty much going across the Ohio Valley, northern Ohio, straight across Pennsylvania, straight across to Massachusetts. So it will be a heavy amount of rainfall. Uh, northern of the New York, extreme New England states, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, you won't see anything. But as you can see, it can go all the way up to Dover, Maryland. Even Wilmington gets over three inches. Bridgeton, you can get up over three inches, as well as Annapolis, over four inches possible. But it's just pretty much sporadic across the south of this surface low pressure as it moves through. Now, Pittsburgh looks like it's going to be over an inch as it goes through. As well as Philadelphia, it looks like it's in that heaviness of over two inches of rainfall out of this. New York City, a possible of over two inches, as well as Long Island, a chance for two to three inches. So, Ross, you got some rain coming to you. Uh, for Connecticut, it's mostly south, as well as Rhode Island, it's mostly south. Now I got this on a NAM 3K so you can see the movement of these storms. The time and date is on the top left. I will have it moving kind of fast though so the hours will kind of go by. But you can see these storms and how they do head towards Louisiana a little bit. You get a little sporadic towards the afternoon and for the weekend. But it goes all the way towards the northeast and just hangs with y'all for a good while. I'm talking a couple of days. This is going to be there and slowly this surface low pressure is moving up the coast as it leaves. But it will put storms for y'all for a couple of days. Now, I'm about to go do that update for the tropical for y'all. So you please, please need to check it out. It's going to be something going on in the Gulf. It's been trending for a long time. It's not totally defined yet, but I, am, I do have my eye on it. And I will update y'all on it today. Uh, first, I'd like to praise God. Amen. I'm alive today. That's another day we should all praise God just for breathing in the air we breathe. Let's praise, guys. God bless all of you. I do appreciate y'all for coming today. I do appreciate y'all for supporting my channel. Please show support to David. He's in a bad time. He's in a bad place. He does need some help. Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Amen. <laughs> hope y'all have a very blessed day. I hope y'all are okay for the last few days. I saw y'all been through a lot. I hope y'all doing okay. I, I was thinking about, a lot about y'all. God bless y'all. All glory does go to Yahweh, God of Jacob. Amen. <laughs> Have a blessed day, my friends. Be looking for that tropical update.